The Constitution was the blueprint for a real new world order, not the cheap imitation globalists and their gun controllers are trying to foist upon populations today. The new world order, of course, that they have in mind is a globalist government uh, where national boundaries are diminished for the betterment of the global traders. But in order to achieve that, you have to have international law. You have to have a police arm uh, in order to create this global economy that you salivate over. That's the new world order that they see. And the desire for global trade, again, that the British Empire had instituted. And many, many countries had fallen victim to that international law that the Crown was, was implementing globally. The United States was the first major breakaway of a major colony from a great monarchical imperial power in Europe, which then dominated the world. And the breakaway was not only successful in establishing American independence and freedom, but the Americans created a republic, a new kind of government, uh, which served as a model for peoples all over the world and was a tremendous success and became the strongest, most powerful, most successful and richest country on earth. They always say, oh, you want that old constitution. The constitution is the most revolutionary idea ever. What the globalists are going back to is three, four, five thousand year old Egyptian or Babylonian or even middle age domination from a thousand years ago. They're the old world order. Tyrants and combines and, and victim disarmament and enslaved peasants is the old world. The Republic in America is the real new world order. The Founders New World Order was based on 4,000 years of experience with previous governments. What did these governments do right? What did they do wrong? All of this thought was hammered into the U.S. Constitution. The history of the Constitution's peculiar taking notice of and peculiar clauses governing uh, the perpetuation of the militia uh, of the several states into our larger uh, compound constitutional order was the history of a couple hundred years experience of self-government uh, on this on this continent. Uh, tried and true uh, methods that were perfected in all the statutes and the constitutions or charters of the several colonies and then the constitutions of the several states and the experience of uh, trying to use on a large scale that element of our defense during the War of Independence and the frustrations and trial and error there were all crystallized uh, into the uh, clauses of our current constitution. 236 years later, this noble constitution has guided 13 sparsely populated colonies to a free nation of over 300 million, what Thomas Paine would surely characterize as the noblest, purest nation on the face of the earth. 